Today I'm at Jeff Allred, aka Allred Woodworks Wood Shop here in North Richland Hills, Texas. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna teach us how to make a super strong drawer. You ready? I'm ready. Let's I, do it. I'm like lunch meat, I'm always ready. <laughs> Let's go. All the pieces are already cut out as far as the drawers go. We've got the, the width and everything that he wanted. Now, how do we figure out how wide of a drawer we're gonna make? So the inside of the cabinet is 16 and a half inches wide. We know we need this to sit inside that. So we know that this outside to outside measurement on this box has to be 15 and a half because the drawer slides are one half inch each thick. So both of those make an inch. And if we put one on each side, we've got 16 and a half. So how do you come up with this measurement? So we know 16 and a half automatically take off an inch. That makes it 15 and a half because of the drawer slides. And then here, when we cut a quarter inch a rabbit in this end, and a quarter inch rabbit in this end, we've taken off another half inch. But you also have to add this piece and this piece, which is a half inch. So this is 14 and a half. This makes it 15 because that's a half. This makes it 15 and a half because that's a half. So two halves and a 14 and a half, and you got 15 and a half. Make sense? Make sense. So what I did was measure over three quarters of an inch, then we set this block right here. That's gonna be our stop. I'm gonna move this piece over. We did make a test cut, and then we made sure that was gonna be three quarters of an inch from the edge, and then we know this is set correctly. So once we have right, this yeah. set, we just made a pass as a flat bottom or flat tooth blade. We're gonna make a pass, and then each pass we'll move it slightly to the left, make another pass, make another pass until you get that entire piece cut out. Uh, if you're using a flat blade, all this will be smooth. Uh, it's pretty mandatory that you have a flat blade there. If not, you can take a chisel and clean that up a little bit. Now we're gonna do the bottoms. We'll set the blade a quarter inch high and a quarter inch away from the fence using the Craig setup block. So next what we're gonna do is just move the fence over about an eighth inch and that's gonna give us a, uh, basically a quarter inch dado in the bottom of this drawer. And then we're gonna use this scrap piece to test the fit before we continue on. Once we get the perfect fit, then we'll just make all the cuts. We're gonna do the first one. Little snow. About that much, see what that does? That felt perfect. I felt it. You want it to be a little loose, but yeah, there's. Not, I mean, if we nail, if we hammered that in there, it would go. But there's no room for glue. Cause these are gonna be squeezed together anyway, so it's not yeah. gonna. I'd leave it there. Yeah, I would be happy with that. All right. You're happy. I'm happy. Now that we got our rabbits cut on each end, we got our dados cut a quarter inch up from the bottom and they're a quarter inch thick. When we assemble these together, take a measure this way on the inside. Now this one's 14, so we're gonna cut our piece slightly under 14 and a half so that it slides in those uh, grooves. And then also the inside inside here, which is 14 and a half, so we'll cut this one probably 14 and seven eighths. And that'll make everything kind of, give it a little bit of a, a play, but give us enough structure that it'll hold just fine. So now we're gonna cut the bottom that size. Now to assemble the drawer, we're just gonna use glue and some pin nails. We're gonna come back and put screws in it to shore it up, but for now, just to hold it, we're gonna use pin nails. We're gonna put glue on both of the rabbits as well as down the groove where the plywood bottom is gonna be. So the pin nails are just to hold it tight while we put some screws in it. We're gonna use- Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter wood screws. Uh, probably what, two? Um, seven per side. I don't seven want to go per anywhere. <laughs> You're thorough over here. So you want to check for square, make sure your box is square. I always go from the outside corner across. This is at 22 and an eighth. This is 22 and about 3 sixteenths. So we're about a sixteenth out of square. But I think once we put these other screws on the other side, it'll pull it tight. 
it's not square, you can always use the Thor camera by James King to knock it square. Yes, sir. And if that one doesn't work, one of those will. Twenty-two and three sixteenths each, perfectly square. See, brought it in there. So once you put those screws in there, all that's doing is pulling everything nice and tight together. Make sure those rabbits and all get fit tight. If you got those rabbits square, all that should square up whenever you screw it together. So when we mount the drawer. These are just ball bearing drawer slides that you can pick up pretty much anywhere. Amazon. Amazon, yeah. I always like to. These are going to be inset drawers. I always like to just set my where my face of my drawer will be, which is we're just going to use this as a scrap. Flush it up with the front face of your cabinet and then you're just going to butt, butt the drawer slide up against the back side of that and once you get that set you can just attach it with screws and it has its preset depth and what i always like to do is make a mark right here and that way if anything moves uh, when you're putting the screws in you'll be able to see it put two pieces of scrap or a piece of scrap down just to raise that up off the floor of the cabinet And then from there, we'll just dry the screws. And this box is assembled. These, where you put the screws in, that's the sides because when you're pulling the drawer, you want to pull against those screws that are going that way. So always remember that when you build these type drawers, this screw side is the side of the drawer. And that's going to mount right in here like this. So to mount the drawer, we're just going to put some spacers under there. We're going to use this. Two of these stacked together are an eighth an inch. That'll just raise that drawer up off the bottom so that it doesn't drag whenever you open and close it. Brother Ed, thank you so much for having me in the shop. Well, yeah, thank you for coming. A pleasure. And uh, I like working with you. So. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for buying dinner last night. I appreciate You're that. Right. <laughs> if you'd like to see how to put drawer faces on, as well as three more ways to build a drawer box, click that box right there. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist pump. Thank you, Bob.